I'm thinking of two whole numbers, both greater than or equal to three. I've computed their sum, which I've told to Sam, and their product, which I've told to Polly. Polly, you don't know the two numbers. That was true, but now I do. Ah, now I do too. What you just heard is known as the impossible puzzle, or the sum and product puzzle. It's also known as the Freudenthal problem after the guy who first published it. Now, you may not know me as a math YouTuber. Most of the stuff on this channel is about video games. But I'm branching out a bit for the summer of math exposition. I've wanted to make something about this puzzle for a few years now since I explored it a lot during college, and yesterday I finally did. I published a super in-depth blog post over at biggieblog.com, link on your screen. It includes a lot of nice animations, and I'll give a teaser here. The original version of the problem has an upper bound, which makes it a lot more approachable and leads to there being a unique solution. I put a pretty brutal twist on the original and I removed the upper bound. Now I want to know about all solutions, and there are a lot of them. We can use prime factorization to build out an algorithm and tell us about individual solutions. We can even define a very beautiful function, and its behavior corresponds exactly to the solutions to this puzzle. But this function is rather hard to compute, and so it's unclear whether there are finitely many or infinitely many solutions. However, I was able to prove some interesting things about this function, and I hope you read the blog post to learn what they are. While you're there, I have a dozen or so other posts, and I would love to get some feedback on how you like them. I try to present things for a general audience, even though there are a lot of the topics that go super deep. And that's it for now. See you there, and I hope you enjoy.